All right, I'm going to show you how to do something similar to this, but I'm using a house instead. So I hit play, and you can see a cannonball goes through the wall, and the wall shatters to pieces. All right, so in order to do this, uh, we want to have the Pull It Down plugin for Maya. Uh, you can use the demo version. I'll show you how to shatter uh, using the demo in multiple ways. Let's close that down. And then next, first thing also, we want to make sure both plugins are loaded in. So bullet is check, check. And then uh, PDI is check, check, doing that. All right, ready to go. So the first thing here what I want to do is use this, uh, pull it down. And I'm not going to do 64. What could do 64? All right, so I hit shatter. And that will create um, 64 shatter parts of the building right here. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to ungroup those. And I want to delete this right here. All right, so I'm going to do one more time, um, but you can keep going, uh, share this. So I want to find a piece that is big. So maybe the cannonball hits here and this will shatter. So I'm going to maybe just for fun, I'm going to do radio and hit preview. Like that, and then hit shatter. All right, so I got a shatter here, top, and I'm going to um, delete the uh, hidden. I'm going to ungroup this, and I'm going to delete the above. All right, so now I have my house shattered in different parts. Okay. So the next thing here what we want to do now is use the bullet uh, plugin. I'm going to go into my FX menu, tear this down, move this to the side. So uh, I'm not going to use the active rigid body. That's each single part becomes a uh, rigid body or add fixes to it. I'm going to use a rigid set. That means that each group or set I can add a different weight or friction, uh, damping, um, stuff like that. So I'm going to go to my front view and grab these and that and that. And yeah, I grab like that. Oh, I'm doing this one too, but I can't decide. All right, so I'll group these and I call it big house. Big house. And I'm going to hide it. And this is the part that I want shattered. So I'll grab all of those and group them. And I, of course, I could have many groups of different parts of the house or different types of weights. Uh, I could have the back part to be blown up if a second cannon or cannonball comes in. But I'm just keeping it simple for demo purposes. And I'm going to call this target. All right, I'll bring this one back. Oops. Uh, show selection. All right, so now, I'm going to grab the big house and I'll go to the option and call it big house. And as soon as I do that, it will make a rigid note underneath. Do that. All right. And then I'll grab the target and I'll name this target house. Apply. 
And now if I hit play, whoops, it's going to blow up. But before I do that, I'm going to do a selective bulldog solver, turn on the ground plane. So when it blows up, it's going to um, have a ground around. All right, so we're going to fix this. All right, so the house is blowing up right now. So in order for stop that, uh, <clears throat> we want to go into the initial state and change a few um, different numbers or settings. And I type I in, go to initial state, and I want to go into the big house. And then in the big house, in the rigid body, uh, initial conditions, and initial attributes. So the first thing in here, this is the weight. So now you own the weights, baby. One kilo, make it uh, heavy. And I want to have no friction, no angular. I'll turn off the friction up and no bounce. Then I'm going to turn on the initial sleeping. Uh, when it starts off, it's just going to sleep and glue. And we could make this a very strong glue. And we're going to change this, the collision type. Right now, the collision is just a collision box. Change it to hole. It takes the shape of the shatter. And now I'm going to change the this here, make that to zero. That is the uh, collision block. How far does it stick out? So make it to zero. And I'm going to change, do the same thing for this. But I want to leave this in one. In one and then I want to select this. And then glue settings. And uh, we could make it a little lower like that and change the hole. And now if I hit play. Nothing happens. All right. So next thing in here, what I want to do now, I want to add some kind of ball that's going to hit the object. So create polygon gates. Sphere in the solar. So I'm like that, of course I can set the part apart. And now I'm going to make this into a oops, a uh, rigid body. I'm going to go into my bullet and go to here. And I could just leave this for right now. Hit apply. And if I hit rewind, it should just fall down. Alright, perfect. Alright, so the next thing here. I'll so select my ball and I'm going to want to go into the rigid body shape and let's change this to a 20 and go into my initial conditions and this is going to be X direction. So X, Y, Z. So make that into minus 10 for now. Let's just see how that looks like. And that's all you really need to do. So I hit rewind and I hit play. Boom. That looks pretty good. And you can see what's happening here. Then each time it hits, um, it does a little bit different um, look. And another thing which I can do, I can scrub through the um, the timeline. So in order to fix that and maybe have different um, shatters, what I want to do is use the um, uh, the Amblink uh, setting here, export that out, and then I'm going to import that into the animation or into the scene. All right. So how to do that is we grab the these right here, which are the um, the bullet rigid shape and I'm going to grab this. All right, so and leave everything else here uh, and I want to go into, uh, sorry I kind of lost it there, uh, to bullet, uh, export selection and you can see I've done a few ones here already. 
So maybe I type this house four. And uh, the timeline going through 120, which is right here. You see, you can change it how you want it. And then also down here in the below, I want to click the strip nameplates. Uh, this is not checked when you start out. And also, you want to make sure you're using the HDFS. Uh, and there's no longer support in the Agua doing that. Okay. And all we can do now is just hit export. Boom. Close down. All right, so we can do another one if we wanted to. So we, we could compare. Go into bullets. Uh, maybe we we'll make the the ball a little bit heavier. So um, so maybe do forty, and see how that looks like when you play it. See now it goes through like that. All right, I kind of like that. So. I will um, select both of them and want to go into bullet and then uh, export selection and I'm going to choose five and then I go through that time um, so maybe you can do six and uh, I'm doing a different one just for fun. Uh, go to bullet selection, select six. So now we have other ones that we can choose. All right, so in order to load that in, what we want to do is we want to delete the whole bullet system. So delete entire bullet system. Okay, so now if you play, it should be nothing on here. Actually, just wait for how to start it off from. So I'm going to uh, select those and then I'm going to go into cache, into relic, and I'm going into import and so make sure that import under current selection selected and also merge and hit apply. And then you're going to choose to four import. Perfect, and I play. So you can see now, and also you can scrub the timeline now. Doing that. Okay, and then maybe we try the last one, which the ball goes all the way through. So go to um, uh, cache, uh, import, and choose number six. Input and I hit play. See, that's the one that goes through it. You can see here, we went through that one. Boom. All right, so that's how you do a very simple uh, destruction slash uh, physics destroying object in Maya. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. All right, take care.